Folks, welcome to yet another 100 before 40 race update, race review. In this video, folks, we're going to talk about the Sasso Sasselbeck Marathon. This was Marathon 92 of the 100 before 40. Yes, folks, we are well into the single digits countdown towards that 100 before 40. This is a sister or brother to the Sasso Secunda Marathon because the headline sponsor there is Sasso. First things first, let's talk traveling there. Sasselberg is not so far from where I stay. I think it's an hour, 15 minutes drive. And on this day, I arrived just before 5.30 and I was confident that I was very early because normally by 5.30, if a race is a, is a six o'clock start, a lot of people would have collected their numbers and that sort of thing. On this day, I was wrong. When I got there, there was still a long queue and I had, it was a slow, painstaking process waiting to pick my number. If the race was starting at six, you're still in the queue at like 5.54. You're still in the queue at 5.59. You start to panic because you worry that you may actually start late. What's up, Hola, hola. Can I just check, where did you get the number? Uh, collected. In this line? In this line. But earlier on. Oh, yeah. I see. <laughs> yeah. Good, thanks, bro. I was going to run at the back anyway and I could not afford starting the race 10 or 15 minutes late. But lo and behold folks, one thing that the organizers did very well, they delayed the start and I think they appreciated, they were overwhelmed by this late uh, race number collection. So they delayed the start by 15 minutes but the news did not get to me while I was still in the queue. I was still worrying that okay well I have a lot of catching up to do and that sort of thing. Eventually when I grabbed my number in a panic I'm trying to run to the start someone told me that no the rest start has been delayed a bit but I think the adrenaline had already set in or whatever you call these things I was still operating on that time clock that I'm probably late for the race and I need to keep going, I need to keep moving. So it was a quick dash or quick rush from this collection of the number to get to the start. Not with the bangs. Not with the bangs. Ah, the bangs. It's about finishing, boss. It's about finishing. Okay, folks. Let us tell you what's happening. Today is number 92 of 100 before 40. Yeah, we're slowly getting to the 100. We probably would have been at 94 today, isn't it? We no, missed no, no. three over the weekend. No, we would have been at 95. Yes. But anyway, it is what it is. I was done with. 
I think it was mild COVID. The doctor won't tell me, but I think it was. But I think it was. Anyway, so today we plan to take it easy. And as usual, I, 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 mean they got, I do not walk alone. I have this Chelsea support. I'm here. The yeah. dawn, the pink tutu run. Right, if your team is not in the Champions League, please sit down and let us stand. <laughs> we'll tell you what's happening now. We just started uh, Sasso Marathon, the second leg. This is your uh, one thing, the Sasso, the one in Sekunde. Okay, weather perfect. I'm a bit tempted to go on 530 movement, but nah, not today. Today is about just taking one quarter home. I don't know who he is, I need to find him. Most people will be panicking. But yeah, that is it. We are here, we we'll enjoy. See you at the end. Well, it's still, it's still a training run because we haven't seen Julian. Only when we see Julian, it becomes an official race. So for now, for now it's still a training run. <laughs> Fox, if you want to know whether I'm still doing good, Dawn is running sub four today, and I caught him. So that means I'm doing very, very well today, Fox. <laughs> okay, 6.5 k meter, uh, kilometer mark, I think. I found the pink tutu runner again, taking it easy. He looks like he's on a morning straw. <laughs> he's, it's like he's holding a coffee in his hand, in his hand, and yeah, he carries on. Obviously, Don has bigger things planned. Let's talk about the bigger things. Second half is probably going to be a Superman. Never. No, those days are gone now. You must just admit that when you get to the St. Hugh mark, uh, it becomes a whole new game. So, folks, remember I told you this is also a Sasso Marathon. And it's the battle, it's the battle of the Sasso Marathon. That there was a Sasso power station and we will do a proper analysis and see whether it lives up to the Sasso power stations at the Sasso Sekunda. Sekunda. It's not a competition between them but for us we are going to compare and tell you which one if you only have one to do, which of these uh, Sasso marathons should you do? Secunda or Sasso Bay? Sasso Bay. This gentleman says Sasso Bay. I think it's probably from here and there's probably some bias there. <laughs> no. I have to confess, I'm looking for you. <laughs> no, I think I think you lost me by the it was a tent there.
Okay, so we are back at the start. Uh, I'm just going to take a view and leave some of my equipment that I had taken with me earlier, like my jacket and that sort of thing in the car. And then carry on. It's been good so far. Let's see what the second half gets in store. John is drinking and driving. Okay, drinking and running. <laughs> he is not driving a bus today. He is an Uber. <laughs> All right, folks, welcome back to the 100 before 40 things. It's still the Sasso Sasselbeck marathon. So earlier on, I think the last time we were in the studio, Don was going on his things, but he's here. Let's let's hear his story. Now I had to take a detour, have a little apple juice along the way, and having fun now. That's all I will say. So so far we're doing well. It's the fifth park run, and all I can say is the weather played its part. The legs have also to play their part. We are looking good, showing off, and we're almost there. Did you hear that showing off part? Showing off! He is showing off. Showing he's, even, off. he's even having apple, apple juice, juice. Yeah, on the road. Okay, as you know, we are about stories, so let me tell you something new. I met this brother here, Bongen. We've been running together for how long now? It's almost 20. Kilometers now. Yeah. Because so, yeah. Yeah. what happened is um, Bongani saw me in the front and then thought, oh, that's cheap. Let me just run behind him and keep up with him. Actually, but then. Your pace, your pace was like so smooth and uh, look like you're not struggling, but you're enjoying it. Yes. There's something about these Sasol marathons. Yes. The weather is beautiful, the vibe, the aid stations are well stocked. Don't complain. I can't complain. I won't complain. I'm not complaining. I shouldn't complain about the aid stations. The water is in abundant supply. Coke and whatever. Oranges. What I don't see a lot is bananas, but maybe I'm just not looking. But this is not a complaint. We're just telling it as it is. See, we're going to enjoy it. Anyway. Anyway. Uh, so folks, we'll talk to you again. We just passed 25. Let us push. Let us see where it takes us.
Okay, folks, let us give you the ultimate review, the final review. What do we have to say about this race? Let's start with the general organization. I think the general organization is very good. The fact that there was a delay to the start due to the late number pickup and all that was a, a top class from the organizers. The root fox is probably the pride of this uh, Sasso Sasso Big Marathon because a lot of people left happy customers and I think the best part is the seven kilometer stretch or almost seven kilometer stretch where a lot of people managed to improve their seeding for comrades. A lot of people managed to qualify for comrades and two oceans and any other race that requires qualification. So when it comes to the route, say thumbs up. Then the aid stations folks on the 100 before 40, we don't talk about water stations. Water is not good enough. It's the aid stations. I think they were superb. They were well stocked. Even though if I were to compare them to the Sasso Secunda, I think Sasso Secunda just get the price by a slight margin. And we're talking the aid stations here. Because at this race, I only saw two, I think, that were actually Sasso uh, uh, aid stations. The rest were other aid stations, but they were also equally good. And will I go back there? Definitely I would go back. I enjoyed myself there and the weather on the day was also brilliant. I know this has nothing to do with the race organizers, but it so happened that the weather just made the experience even top class. So I definitely would go back. If you have not done it before, it's one that I would recommend you do, particularly if you are looking for a good time because a lot of people came back with good times there. And just an additional thing, folks, if we have to compare the Sasso Sasso bag and the Sasso Secunda, let's just say you have only one. You know, you're given a choice to do only one. You can't do both. Which one do I recommend? I think, folks, um, even though we are comparing fruits uh, because they are both Sasso marathons, it will be comparing apples and bananas to some degree in the sense that for the Sasso Secunda, the route was quite different, it was short turns, twist and turns, and I enjoyed that a lot. Then for the Sasselberg, the route is not really a short twist and turns, but it has some stretches that you can really enjoy, particularly if you're chasing a good time. So on that score, I probably would encourage you or would recommend that you go to Sasso Sasselberg. But if you're going to for an ultimate and all-in-all -all experience, I personally enjoyed the Sasso Secunda more and that's the one I would say if there was a gun held uh, to my head and they said just pick one, I would pick the Sasso Secunda. So it all depends with what you are looking for on a particular day. I think they are both uh, brilliant marathons. They are both if you have a choice, good and you should do both. So there you have it folks, that was the Sasso Sasso Beck 2023 Marathon. If you enjoyed this video folks, please give us a first thumbs up. If you have not done so yet, please hit the subscribe button and hit the bell so that you get notifications when we post something new on this 100 before 40. Until the next one folks, cheers. So it all depends with what you are looking for if an, uh, okay. Uh, okay.